Welcome back to Age of Engineering, and it's time to finish off our power room, which had last us fairly through mid-game. But I've been out on the wonder, got some bits and pieces. Um, Marshy Queen, uh, Wintry Queen, uh, those are just from the village. We've got some melon seeds, we've got some beetroots, beetroot seeds, and, you know, bits and pieces, a uh, scoop for more bees, and uh, teak saplings, some wheat, etc, etc, common drone. Nothing excessive, a dimlet parcel. Yeah, we'll use that later, perhaps. And some bee houses. So let me just grab um, what we need. I think I've been this down there, actually. Let's go and have a look, quick look. No, I am going to be building at least two generators, but for now, I just don't have the steel. I went and built, uh, oh, in fact, one other thing I found, uh, some dark boots. And they do not look too healthy, do they? Um... Durability, but I think they have to be powered by RF. Looks like they do, so maybe I should just go and put them in my power cube and hopefully that will revitalize them. They let me to double jump when they have power, which they don't <laughs> right now. And uh, let's just pop those in. Are you charging? You are. Good. Yep, they were just in a um, another village chest. Uh, pretty good. Uh, you can craft them, of course, but we haven't got to dark steel yet because we haven't got silicon yet, so we've got to keep going. Right, generators. So let's just grab all of you. And where are we going to put these? I think I'm going to put them something like here and going that way along the wall. Um, they are three by five, so that is something to keep in mind. Now uh, let's just start this playing, hopefully. Okay, so we got a uh, one of the... What are they called? Are they generator blocks? Yeah, so we need to put that on the floor in the middle. And that's going to form a T-shape. So we're going to, I think, put fluid pipes on either side. And what's the rest of that? Are you actually now going to play? There you go. So two and three. Okay, so we need another one of those. And we want some of these, I think, for the far end. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, let's just block that out. Um, yeah, all, th uh, all three. And then the steel scaffolding will go in here. That's all of the steel scaffolding we hopefully should need. What's on the second layer? Uh, we got anything hard or easy or... Generator, all the heavy engineering blocks. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we can put the generator blocks in. Uh, was it here for this one, I want to say? Radiator block on that end. And where's my heavy engineering blocks? Here they are. I think it was that. Well, let's just quickly take a quick look. Yeah, that looks right, doesn't it? Hope so. And there's a cross and then... Okay, so... Oh, helps if I select the right block. I keep on doing that. One cross, and then we fill in the last three with these radiator blocks. Looks pretty complicated. Uh, where's my engineer's hammer? There it is. Is that not built right? Do I have to take this... Do I have to take these torches out? Okay. Ah, there we go. Fine. It's formed into a multi block. So I am assuming input. Uh, let's just quickly take a look at the entry. What does it say? Um, yes, yes, yes. Fuel is to be input the bottom corners. That's obviously there. Or as energy will be output on up to three connections on the top. 4096 or 4K RF per tick will be split between all connected points. So I guess you could just take one point, as long as you could take 4096. Small terminal on the side will turn off the generator supply with a redstone signal. This behavior can be inverted by use of the engineer's hammer. So here's where we can connect things. I assume we can just get 4K out of one with no problems. And that's pretty much it. Pretty good multi-block. I do quite like the design of immersive engineering. It's always the actual remembering how to assemble the things that's the problem. So... Moving on, what we've got to actually do now is start looking at how we get 
biodiesel from this. So we're going to need to supply the fermenter with fruit and the industrial squeezer with something to compress into seed oil. Of course, this is what we've got right now. Um, what I'm just wondering is, because we've got to bootstrap this somehow, we've got to get it started. Uh, I don't want to run cables all the way from our, um, you know, uh, what, is it, what is it called? Thermoelectric generators? Yeah, all the way from down there. I don't want to run cable all the way over this way just to start things up. Uh, so I'm just wondering... Wow, okay, you're taking a while to recharge. I'm just wondering if this power cube actually does share with its neighbours. I can never quite remember if it does that or not. Let's give it a try anyway. Let me just take the boots out. If not, we can always just... I guess we'll have to run a cable or find some other way to generate RF like one of the... I've got that furnace generator actually somewhere, hopefully. If not... Um, let me go and see if I've got that. Okay, so the generator is just fine. It's down there just... Burning away, the furnace generator that is, and I need to put this in here. We're going to be making another, uh, well, machine we haven't made before, called Stone Separator. What it really does is just give me a good way to get to reinforced iron. That's what I was looking for, some flint. So we're going to pop that around there. We're going to wait for this to cook up. That'll get us a compressed coal ball. While that's going, let's just quickly take a look at what we've got downstairs, and we'll see about that so down here we've got a machine on the left which we need to feed one thing and a machine on the right which we need to feed another now i have gone the setup you remember that garden cloche we made yeah I, oh, and i've got the boots back on yep <laughs> double jump it's great um yes so the garden cloche that we made i swapped it from the canola recipe to melon as you can see, it's producing melons quite quickly. We've got 52 of them, so let's just grab some of those. Uh, we're going to need to mm, supply the products of this to these two machines. Now, we could just do it with crafters, I think. Uh, oh, actually, maybe not. No, is there a crafting recipe? What's the melon crafting recipe for melon slices? Yeah, there isn't one. So the way that we can actually get them is just quite easily, if we're going to do it manually... We can just put them on the ground. What if this will work with our, um, with our hammer? Let's give it a try. Oh, <laughs> How many melon slices did we get from that, though? 21. So pretty good. Let's just take half of those for a second. And convert them to seeds. And you get the idea. We're going to put seeds in over here. And it's going to produce plant oil. You'll see it's going up and down. It's basically a huge press actually it's out of rf so it's stopped going up and down and on this side we've got a furnace generator where we can feed in the melons and this thing will actually then start producing so it's producing ethanol that does take a little bit of time but you know not a huge amount and both of those together we're then going to combine combine this is plant oil that we get on this side if i remember i thought i said seed oil earlier it's not it's plant oil and we also put them into the refinery. The refinery will take ethanol and plant oil and produce biodiesel, which we can feed into this. This will supply the power back to the cloche to make more of the fuel. But we need a good way of getting from the melons without me going around doing this manually to, uh, to get this get going. So to do that, probably the best or easiest idea is the, um, what do we call it? The compacting drawer. Compacting drawer. I think I've used them in previous playthroughs. They are part of the storage drawers mod. Need some dense obsidian plates, some stone, some pistons, and a reinforced chest, which we haven't done before. The reinforced chest is a chest with some reinforced stone and iron around it. So let's just grab uh, this for a second. And I want to put it somewhere. Let's just take it here for now. Now, reinforced stone. I thought I had some on my... Ah, there it is. So, yeah, we need reinforced iron. Okay, so reinforced iron we've made before uh, quite straightforwardly. However, we can get it, get it straight from iron ore if we had a stone separator. So, stone separator's uh, recipe. Uh, let me just see. Are you all done? Nearly done. Stone separator, stone separator recipe is two power cubes. 
Uh, let's just have a look. There we go. Two power cubes, one reinforced iron, some reinforced stone. So we can put the reinforced stone down. That's straightforward. And we can put one power cube. I can sacrifice it now and make another one later. And we need some reinforced iron made the normal way. Okay, so I'm going to go and do that. Let me just grab all of you. Put you in here. This will make our second power cube once we've processed it through the compressor. Uh, that will make into those. In fact, hang on. Uh, that looks like the recipe. Is that the recipe for, for what I think? Um, power cube. It's Yeah, it is the recipe. It just needs a couple of quick changes. So I just need the two compressed coal balls and that will make another power cube. Nearly done. There we get two of them. So, um, yes, yeah, just throw those away for a second. Put that in. That's a power cube. <clears throat> power cube can go in here. And what was that? Just one more compressed iron. Um, let's have a look. Reinforced iron. Okay, reinforced iron. Uh, yeah, we need a calculator for that. Iron and reinforced stone. And I have the reinforced stone on me. So, what do I have? The reinforced. Do I have any iron? Uh, I do. Good. Let's just make one piece of that in the calculator with reinforced stone. That'll give us, hopefully, the stone separator, which we should be able to just attach to any RF. Um, of course, it's not easy to attach the way I've built this so far. Uh, there we go, I guess. I can just put it around the back here. That should do. Stone separator powering up very quickly. And we get, what, four per ore? So I think I need four blocks. So 9, 18, 27, 36. 12 by 4 is 9. So let's just get to nine of this in here. And we'll come back once that's done. Um, that shouldn't take too long to produce. Uh, I then want the other bits and pieces. Let me go and assemble those. Okay, so our stone separator is finished. It gave me everything I needed to craft this reinforced chest. And then we just need this last dense obsidian plate. I'll get us a compacting drawer. And I think we only need the one. Uh, and then we need to go and set things up. So um, let's, let me free up some space first because this is going to need a little bit of it. Uh, let me just pull aside all the things that I don't really particularly need. Uh, I did find one pulsating iron in the village, by the way. That was kind of useful. Uh, or at least it will be useful, I'm sure. But we'll make a lot more of it than we have here. Um, yeah, let's put a lot of this stuff in here. Actually, no, uh, we'll leave that out. And just put this in here. Okay, so we need to go and reassemble this growth setup downstairs so i don't need the squeezer because that's for seed oil i'm obviously going to make more of these as time goes on but for now we're going to need to take you and you let's just rip up this floor for a second and the same thing is true of this reservoir I think we can actually just output directly from the reservoir. So let me just grab this PA wrench. I don't think we need the intermediary tank. I think uh, Robin uh, wrote in and said, yeah, you can just alter that to output automatically. So let's give it a try. Um, pop down here. Now, the inputs for our machines, particularly for the these, are on the back. I think these, this is the input for one side and this is the input for the other so i'm guessing maybe two sets eventually of these cloches but for the meantime let's just go right down the middle and uh, set something up like that um let's just kick this out of the way should do and let's go to this way and to the other way as well oh no oh, oh, oh. so it turns out that this hammer does destructively um alter things 
Okay, um, let's just get rid of you. Uh, can I build this without remembering how it's put together? Um, probably not. I should have two of these steel seal scaffolding. That's one. Mm, what is it now? Refinery. Let's have a look. <laughs> should be more careful with these things. Um, okay, so it's light engineering block at the back. So we should have steel scaffolding and light engineering block somewhere. And uh, like that, maybe. Uh, what was it now? Light. Yeah, it's light, light, and then that should be it. So um, we just need the these iron sheet metals back. And do I have my hammer? Are you back? You are back. Good, good, good. <laughs> so here's our center line. So if we do two offshoots of it, uh, for, for the moment, let's just assemble our cloche on, let's say, where's my cloche gone? There it is. So we assemble it on this side, something like this. Actually, not like that. It needs to be the other way. So I need to make some room for that. Uh, where's, well, there you go. Um, let's say here. All right. So this is our output. We know it is. So we can put our compacting drawer right there, hopefully. And if we just put in the melons, oh, can we feed this directly? I really hope we can. Let's give it a go. Um, I need earth in there and I want some melon seeds. It then needs RF power, which we'll feed that in temporarily in this moment. Uh, so let's just head down and see if we can create water. Um, we should be able to do this vertically, I guess. So let's give this a go. And I've just realized I need to move that again. Never mind. Uh, let's pop in the reservoir. And then we'll need some, obviously, some water. I'll go and get that in a second. Uh, but can we actually set this to output? Um, Input, input, normal, disabled, rotate, query, output. Uh, that is Ender I.O. though. Hmm. So I don't think we can do anything with Ender I.O. on that. Yeah, I'll just put the fluid tank in the way anyway. Let's just go one further down. Okay. And then where's the fluid tank? There we go. And then we have our cloche. Like that. Put our dirt in place. Water's filling fine. And that has got everything it needs to craft melons. However, it does need power. Of course, we don't have any power down here yet. We're gonna have to bootstrap things. So I can just grab, for now, this little furnace generator. And supply it with a bit of power for the moment. Um, you'll do. And do I have anything to burn? Uh, maybe I'll put it away. Okay, I'm going to go and grab a few things. Okay, so I have a transfer node on the back here, and this is happily producing melons, although I need to put more buckets of water down there. That, that'll be fine. I'll do that uh, off camera. So we do need, do need to filter this now. I was hoping that this would just only take seeds. So if I connected this up, nothing would happen until I added a crafter that would make seeds. However, that didn't actually work. <laughs> it just fed melons in here. So I suppose, yeah, it can actually crush, crush melons. However, uh, I think, oh, well, what do we get from the seeds versus melons? Let's take a look. Melon. Um... See, it doesn't say it can actually squeeze melon. That's not... Oh, hang on. Um, no, it's still not an actual recipe, so it's weird that it will actually accept them anyway. But we can already deal with that. So we can put in a um, transfer filter. Is that melon seeds? It is. It's just out of power. And we can say, um, let's just keep in a single stack. And we want an item filter, so let's just grab the item filter and um, let's add... I don't have any melon seeds. That would help if I had some. So 
grab melon seeds. Um, that's all fine. Weird that that is that filtering both. Okay, I made two. <laughs> Let's just get rid of that single stack. And I guess we're going to do the same thing on this side. Is this the fermenter? Yes, it is. So this is the input, I think. Uh, so the same thing. We want the transfer filter. And in this case, we want the melon fruit only. Uh, where are you? Item filter. Melon fruit. Get rid of you. Add you. We don't want the full melons at all. So let's just pop this in and just say a single stack of melon fruit. So all I need to do now is connect up this via the transfer node to both of those. However, there's a, a complication here. There's only melon and melon fruit. There's no melon seeds. So we are going to have to create a crafter. And that's something that... Um, do we actually have any sort of those spare? I do like these boots. There's also slime boots, by the way. It reduces fall damage. To oh, no, they just run out of power. <laughs> I like these boots. <laughs> Now they're terrible. Uh, yeah, like leaping all over the place. The other thing that you can get is, uh, what was it? Uh, slime boots. They stop fall damage. So there's like a, there's a slime, um, oh, what do you call it? Uh, oh, what's it called? A slime. It's going to really annoy me. It's like a slingshot. I think it is called a slingshot. Uh, slime sling. Okay. So that will throw you all over the place and having the slime boots as well stops you from taking damage when you come down. So it is quite useful. Um, okay, let me go and grab what I wanted to. All right, so one stone crafter later and I've separated this out. I've moved this across. So we do actually just need to create a new, uh, where's my item filter? There it is. Uh, I want to recreate that melon item filter that in here and again single stack will be just fine this is already set to create melon seeds so if i put in some tiny charcoal once this finds its way around we should start seeing melon seeds appear here which we can then just feed directly in with another transfer node and another transfer pipe excuse me a second need to cough so that should work, I think. Um, this has been set to the correct side. Melon. Yeah. Um, fuel input inputs. Okay, so it's just input. Yeah, that's set to input. I will check on that in a minute, but that really should be working. And uh, on the other side, we can, uh, we've already got the same thing again. So this should just feed out just melon on both directions. So I can then, not with anything else other than this drill, put a pipe down all the way down here. Like this. And will I have enough? 12 blocks? Ooh, what do you think? I'm going to be one short. That's normally what I end up with. Uh, and I haven't pre-planned this at all. Three, one, two. Ah, I've got one extra. Look at that. How unusual for me. Why aren't you feeding in? Uh, hmm. Will you only feed melons out of this? Maybe you'll only receive it from the bottom. Okay, let's just grab the water and just fill this up. Just before I forget. There we go, hopefully. Yeah, that's filling up nicely. Let me just uh, do a quick check of the compacting draw behavior. Yeah, it's fine. I just had to put a filter on this because it can actually pull out multiple different things and it pulls out the melon by default. So once that's done, we can then put the transfer pipe back. And then hopefully everything will be connected up and start feeding um, when this thing catches up. We don't have any speed upgrades in it yet. So it is going to switch down this whole chain of things looking for uh, work and supply stuff. So oh, yeah, well, it won't do it there. Let's just pull it back. There we go. So that will feed the network. 
yeah it's already making stuff there we should make seeds which are going to be pulled in here and obviously we'll get compacted into well liquid in this case it's the uh, the plant oil so now we need to feed out the um the plant oil into the refinery and the ethanol into the refinery that needs uh, the transfer liquid node what it's called transfer node liquids that's those fluids uh which is just a bucket and another transfer pipe so i can certainly craft that but we may just be able to transfer pipe i may have to put some more aluminium on on smelt let's quickly take a look it looks like this is full now um do we have any oh, we don't have any Ah, this is the annoyance in this this mod pack. This aluminium ore, it's useless as far as I can see. I don't see any way to process it. Uh, aluminum ore. See? Nothing. Except it actually exists. That is the correct spelling. <laughs> I haven't spelled this aluminium. So I have to get bauxite. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure why this is being generated from this particular thing. But I think we probably going to have to throw that away. Unless any of you guys know or girls know how to or if this can actually be processed let me know in the comments if you do more than happy to hear it do i have any uh, i've got very few aluminium i'm gonna need to go bauxite hunting okay there was a setup so let's just uh grab you we'll just go straight through on the ground level for the moment until this second refinery is needed so let's pop that out of the way and i'm gonna put that torch back before i forget and things that spawning no that's good nothing is going to spawn i'm going to need another couple of these transfer nodes but let's just assume that's the output for now assume it is and that's the input so let's just run a transfer pipe across okay and are you filling ethanol great so that's that on that side and on this side i need the yeah, it's a shame. <laughs> That's going to be the output, isn't it? So we're going to have to go underneath. Fine. Uh, underneath will work too, I guess. I just have to make sure they're not accidentally. Uh, so it's one block, two blocks, three blocks. So we should be here. And we're going to go down. I don't think this will connect. I'm just a couple blocks short, but that's okay. I've got some aluminium on the build. Um, we don't need to actually do any kind of filtering of this stuff, I don't think. Uh, this is empty because it doesn't have any power. Why do... Oh, because I've moved the power here. Yeah, we're going to have to bootstrap this one stage at a time. Let's just get this going with a little bit of power, which is up here on top. Um, let's see, where's my... Where's my generator gone? I did just break it. There it is. There we go. There we go. And put the coal, put some coal back in, I guess. That should be now producing plant oil. Yep. Piston's going. Good. Let's go and see if that uh, aluminum is cooked up just yet. And of course, these boots do give me step up as well, which is uh, pretty good. I just need some way to continuously recharge them at some point soon. Um, where are we? Ah, yes, aluminium. So pretty much all my aluminium these days goes into a transfer pipe. Um, there we go. Get some hopper ducts. Put the hopper ducts. Well, of course, we'll go to conduits fairly soon. Transfer pipe times 22. Okay. And actually, um, I should make, uh, is the bucket, I can never remember the bucket recipe is iron ingots or not. Is it iron ingots? It is. Okay. Um, I should make another couple of buckets. Because we're going to need them for this recipe. So I should reserve a couple of transfer pipes for you and uh, four redstone. We're going to need another couple of transfer nodes to get the bio in fact just one uh, just one transfer node will actually do us but uh i'll just reserve whoops i'll just reserve another one there just in case we need it because we need to get the biodiesel out of the um the refinery of course 
and then to hook everything back together. Doesn't stop falling damage though, these boots. It's a shame. Okay, so here we go. Let's just grab where is my transfer pipe. There we go, 20. All right, so you should be connected. We'll wait for this to produce some plant oil, I guess. Let's produce some. It's gone. Plant oil has come in. Okay, so this should be ready to produce <laughs> to produce biodiesel. It can because it doesn't have any power yet. Uh, the power's back there on this one. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna move this again. Uh, hopefully, it's still uh, yeah, it's still alive. Good. And let's get some of this started. And put my where's that cold coke? Put that back in. Now this is filling and it's already created some biodiesel. So we then need to feed from the output of this, which is here, into the input of this, which, uh, well, it can be anywhere really, but right here is the easiest way to take this. So another transfer node. And I'm going to want to feed some cable back across. Because I want to loop this back around. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go and borrow some cable. I was going to make some, but I think I actually just ran out of more redstone. So let me just borrow this for a second and uh, we'll put it back a little bit later. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hope I'm not to come down with a cold. Uh, that should do 13 for now. Uh, actually, I'll just keep just keep going. And we should be moving on to second cable or even the enduro power conduit pretty soon as well. I also do need to look into power storage. So if any of you have any comments about good approaches for power storage in this pack, be my guest. So here we go. Let's just grab the final bits. Transfer pipe. In two, three, four. And that should... There's no GUI for this. Hmm. All right, so let's just hook things back up again. Let's hope that <laughs> the GUI is not needed. Let's just grab that. Ooh, did that start up just because... Hmm, just because I connected pipe to it. Has the pipe got... Yeah, the pipe's got RF. Let's just knock this out of the way. And hopefully... There we go. All I've got to figure out now is how to actually hook this up so that everything starts. Uh, we want some more power over here. So let's just pop one this way. Oh, what? That's nowhere near where I clicked. <laughs> ah, now I can't get out. Oh, oh. Really? This is fine. This is fine. Nothing to see here. I will route that underground. So, okay. That was nowhere near. Okay. So, I'm actually going to have to go around. Let me just, let me just dig my way around. <laughs> this, this is horrible. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, you have no RF at the moment. Let's kickstart this thing, hopefully, by putting a furnace generator here. And starting this up with something burnable again. Alright, so that's getting RF. And hopefully it should be making plant oil. It is. It should be supplying plant oil, which it is. We then just need more cable, and I've only got four left. That's not going to be enough. So I'm going to need to start this one up as well. Yeah, let's actually just move that back again. Has it got a supply? It does have a supply, so let's just assume that that is okay for now. Pop this back on top and start. You are building, so you should be producing ethanol, which should be going in here. This does have a 
backup supply, which should start this up, which it is. Oh, slowly. And uh, which should then supply power to restart everything again. There we go. It's just not producing a lot of um, of biodiesel just yet. It's using that biodiesel up pretty quickly. So I'm going to go and craft more of this, I think. And then we're going to feed cable all the way this way over to here. And once this starts up enough, once we have enough processed, we should be OK to get started. What we may need to do, depending on how fast this is, is to look at upgrades to feed this. Right now it's OK, but we'll see where it starts to pile back up. And that will be important. Uh, there's nothing burnable in here. So what I may need to do is have the RF upgrade for that stone crafter and then feed cable into here so that I don't have to put more burnable stuff in there. Back in a second, I'm just going to grab some stuff. OK, there we go. It's up and running. Um, I did replace this first cable with second cable because this can output 4K RF per tick. And over here, the weak link at the moment is this stone crafter. I don't think it's fast enough. It's certainly losing. Oh, I've actually put a few stacks in here. Once I put a few stacks in here, uh, sorry, not in here, uh, the, the seeds. Once I put a few stacks in here, everything is starting up. So I think I need to replace this with uh, the next tier, but we'll do. I'll do that between the episodes or I'll show you the start of the next episode. Uh, there's the Iron Crafter, which is a possibility. There's also Diamond Crafter, which again is still a possibility. We can just upgrade one to the other to the other. And then there's our tool stuff, but uh, I think we'll stick with the Diamond Crafter if I've got enough diamonds. And uh, we'll see how that goes. So we've got, pretty much got 4 AKR a tick in a completely... Uh, this is off now, so everything is self-perpetuating, apart from the fact it's going to run out of seeds because I don't have that crafter running. And then, of course, we'll see how fast that day is compared to the cloche. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. We've got full 4K RF per tick power started up. I do need more of that second cable, which costs iron and uh, restonia. Other than that, we'll see you next episode. And uh, then I guess we will continue down there with an auto crafting setup, not auto crafting, auto mining setup. Move that, that setup down there and speed it up. See how much iron we can get out of this system. Uh, in this ender age. So, thanks for watching, and uh, feel free to give it a thumbs up.